Okay, everyone. We're just making our way through this tomb with Thuyu because apparently this tomb was, uh. Well, it's not the one we came in from. Let's put it that way. Looks like it's, uh. Might be a bit of a portal, I guess you could put. Like not a magic portal, just like a way of accessing spots that we wouldn't necessarily be able to normally. I'm not sure. Oh no, no, they're right next to each other. Never mind. I guess it's just a convenience thing. Okay, that's the tomb of Ramses. We want to make sure that we've gone through every other tomb before we access there. Because we don't know. Until we've checked. If they're missing anything. It's kind of neat how the foliage shows up on the map. Really cool if enemy showed up on it too, just because of how ridiculously accurate they are. But that'd be asking a lot of Out of the various classes that are available in this game, are there any in particular that actually benefit from being able to change their weapon like this? Like mine, we just use stabs as far as I can tell. Maybe I'd be better off not specking into int, but eh, it's a little late for that. But, are there classes that benefit from them? Because I don't really see melee being particularly different. Like, play-wise. Maybe it is and I'm just missing something? But why would you ever switch between melee weapons? I'm not doing any damage to this thing anyway. That's better. Maybe there's classes where you'd want to switch to between like bows and swords. I can see that. Well, what are your thoughts? That just is that a thing? Or is that just a carryover from just the genre? Shrine of Mystery. I'm not sure how you'd say that. Because it, it, it doesn't seem like it really roll off the tongue like a, like a single word. But there's no real distinction there. Of course, I'm running on English terms and that's just like a romanized equivalent of whatever it originally was. So it's 
probably just something similar to what had been. I really like these purple ones, they're kinda cute. hero. This guy's looking pretty cool. Oh, it, it is it's the guy. Uh, among Menzies. That's cool. Normally the uh, hero units seem kind of random. This one actually has like a place in the world. Unlike Oh Lord. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sorry, puppies. My poor puppies. We don't really have mastery at the moment, so uh, rip to a uh, third pup. As much as I harp on about this aspect, there's something that kind of ruins it for me. And that's every single time I see the word Ramses, I can't help but think of that one Courage the Cowardly Dog episode, because it used to scare me like all other as a kid. See, like the King Ramses to the, the man in gauze, the man in gauze. <laughs> that show, but I'll think considered it. I think that one in particular kind of traumatized me as a kid. the energy regeneration is better. I really don't care for poison resistance, so... Yeah, cool. We found something useful. Um... Everything else seems kind of meh. So, 
vendor stuff. Which isn't a bad thing. Money's a nice commodity to have. Let's make our way over to the vendor. See if there's anything in the way. If you go high on up enough, it looks like a bit of a storm going. I like that. stacks of this thing by now, but I'll hold on to it. Mm. Four points of armor really doesn't matter all that much in the grand scheme, I don't think. Maybe it does in expected. and we'll, uh, we'll start um, the next one pretty soon after. Tomb of Anmenhetep I. Looks like we're dealing with ghosts. I'm not actually feeling this all that much right now, so we'll do this in another session, probably. Have a good one.